This is an exclusive episode of Big Wigs. We are doing our first recap episode, which which I am I am living to do to do recap episodes, right Anna? Me too. Uh, we've been talking about this for a while and you know what when the show falls into your hands, it's just it's a gift. It's a gift and we're going <laughs> to unpack it and we're going to un- we're going to unbox it live for you on the pod. <laughs> this show to me meant impressions it meant my love of real houses of new york and my also our throwback love of simple life so fully we're recapping from start to finish all the episodes of crappy lake we're doing it we're doing it and i don't believe any other podcast so far is recapping crappy lake unless you are uh, hello we'll do a little collab but Right now, I think we're the only ones. We can't even find their Instagram. Page. I, I think, I think because of the quality of the pictures, I found the Instagram and it's just at Crappy Lake, but it should be at Crappy, Crappy Bravo or at Bravo Crappy Lake. It's not, it doesn't look Bravo like Crappy Lake. Lake. Yeah. All, all it's I can so find funny. is that. So it's not being highly publicized yet. Is the show, you know, they've done press for the show, but like, yeah. I don't know. It's not, it, it hasn't blown up yet, I will say. Like, I want it to, you know? Yeah, so, I know, same. If you guys are just like, absolutely, we love Anna and Andrea, we support big wigs, what the hell is happening? Crappy Lake on Bravo is a new reality show with Luann and Sonia from the Real Housewives of New York, old mm-hmm. cast. And they the sent them cast. to Benton, Illinois, uh, to a small town, which we have now learned is called crappy lake right crappy lake population is seven thousand and seven thousand seven thousand yeah well it was on the the side when they when they like walked in and i could not believe i missed that part okay it's really bothering me though you guys are gonna let my headphones are green and so we have the girls (laughs) behind us i'm gonna have jared bring me black headphones maybe he can hear me um from the other room assistant hello Uh, uh, pa i need black headphones por favor uh he's running he's running he's unraveling them as we speak um we can either keep this in for the entertainment or cut this out but i'm having fun talking about it we need it we need it in so hold benton, on hold on benton illinois Take it away. it's known for crappy lake because of the crappy smell from the fishing whatever happens in the town they use it in like a landfill and so it started to smell like that and so they started using the name crappy lake and then also crappy is a type of fish, I believe. Is it? There's a you're, reason You're teaching why. me so much history. I just thought it was like, what a shit ass town. <laughs> <laughs> no, the people in the town, they were interviewing that the owner of the motel. And then he was like, yeah, crappy means something like this. But they talked about like some fishy, like gross smell. And they also talked about fish. But I kind of like glazed over that, that part. And they're straight up like, well, we already have Shit's Creek. So let's just yeah. call it Crappy Lake. <laughs> crappy Lake, Shit's Creek. It's all the same. It's honestly, I had so much fun watching it. It's, it's, I didn't know what to expect because I didn't watch The Real Housewives of New York. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I watched The Simple Life and I've followed Luann and Sonia like on social media, you know, and they're both cabaret queens. So, oh, you know, cabaret. like of any of the uh housewives, I take to the performers, obviously, you know, I can really, I, I get it. And uh, and our shout out to our friend Doug, Doug did the sounds for our podcast. And Doug went on tour with Sonia, which is crazy. He has yes, so many Sonia did. stories. I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to talk about our sounds. I wanted to talk about his connection with Sonia. I, I said, know. "Tell, tell me everything. What was she like? What did she do?" Maybe we'll have him on to be like, as a person who's worked as a guest yes. on the on the recap episodes. Oh, I'll have to ask if he's watching Crappy Lake. Um, and if you're not watching it, you're going to want to watch it by the end of this, right? I mean, it's it's just, it's a half hour of pure joy, I think, at this point. Yeah, we're going to recap the full episode from start to finish. And then we each of us took notes. We got to talk about our favorite things and also uh, working on our impressions every single week. Yeah. So let's start. Yeah, we're going to... Honestly, we're going to drop a video, you guys. This is this is all in preparation. <laughs> we're, is, the video is going to get dropped. Um, I've already teased a Luann. You have not done a Sonia in public. Like, you haven't put a Sonia video out. I and, haven't. Um, and I'm sorry if you wanted Luann, but I was I really took to her a while ago, and I thought, I, I can do those deep, rasp voices. That's, unfortunately, the smoker in me is... Uh, is <laughs> Is ready to go. Um, yeah, it's in your wheelhouse. I, I'm excited about it. It is. I have to differentiate it a little bit from the other deep 
you know, I don't want mm-hmm. you to be like, see, Joan, uh, deep, raspy ones. But anyway, so we, we, we took to these girls. We were like, we're going to watch the show. We're going to recap this show. So let's get into it. Let's start from the very beginning. <laughs> um, Starting from the top, when they took the private jet. Private plane to Crappy Lake, <laughs> just to set the mood. Which <laughs> first they showed them in their apartments in New York. Planning, prepping, packing. Packing, yes. Luann is very different than Sonia. We're getting kind of an image of like who, if you've never seen Real Housewives of New York, you could already watch this show and then kind of get a gist of who they are when they're packing. Yeah. It was very much like Luann is going on a trip with a mission. Like she is packing for multiple activities. Sonia yeah. is, is you know, just, just packing for a good time, right? She's just ready to have a good time. And she doesn't want her liposuction to leak oh, through yes. her, her pits. So she's bringing multiple pairs of underwear and pads to catch her leaking pads. areas that are leaking. I respect her for being like, I am going on a new TV show. I'm going to liposuction my whole body. She talks about all the areas she lipoed. Oh, she was so real about it. Which is cool, you know, because she's <laughs> what? What are we going to turn on the TV and be like, she looks different. Like, she's just going to be like, I don't care if I have the money to do these <laughs> procedures i'm just gonna fucking tell you and i i like exactly me too the honesty of it all i think when people have worked on it's it's admirable to talk about it like when i have my face lifted i'm gonna tell you about it okay because you're gonna know you're gonna be like wait she looks great all of a sudden and i'll be like because i made money and i got my face lift (laughs) because i got my shit done you know what luann doesn't do though i don't think i mean she might have gotten more talk about it she doesn't talk about it, but I don't think she really, she works out hard. So she's got a toned, tight body. Yeah, but I could guess a couple things she's done, you know, mm-hmm. like, and 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 I think it's, I don't think she's doing anything. Like, I don't know that her boobs are real. Like they, they're really nice boobs that <laughs> very perky, you know, I, I just yeah. think like she probably got boobs, but like, I bet she, I wonder if she'd tell you if you were like, Hey, did you ever have your boobs done? Like, I would hope she'd be like, yeah, I did. 1994 yes, she's not as open as sonia is definitely what what i'm getting for sure sonia is an open it seems like an open book okay so they fly privately but the plane is not all that comfortable for a private plane remember they they it's weren't very allowed it's very but they weren't allowed to land and they like freaked them <laughs> out and they were like stressed yeah. out and they were like what do you mean we can't land and, and then they there were was like livestock on the <laughs> runway which, and they're like, what do you mean, livestock? Which was such a produced moment. I'm like, I know. someone literally had to drive a couple goats over <laughs> over to the landing pad or the runway <laughs> and to. put them out so the plane couldn't land so they could freak out these posh New York City elite celebrities. Right. Um, oh, and that's the other part. The town was just told mm. that there would that celebrities are coming to town. To, to what to liven up the town i don't know what the the mission is to 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 well, bring... when they talked to the governor who got <laughs> all these people they need they need some pizzazz because everyone was giving drab and i was like we need this town really does need a facelift which is kind of crazy i didn't realize that it was through a bravo producer who's worked with these ladies before yes he that's has his hometown kid, like, shit that's his hometown and his sister lives there or he has family that's still there and he's like look we need to we need to do some upkeep here and what better place to do it than what i know is this small town so the fact that there's like some inner working connection there is actually pretty crazy yeah i liked that i like that so the town was just told they didn't they wanted to surprise the the, the town's people with mm-hmm. what celebrities were coming and the best is when they asked them who or, do you think it could be or townspeople uh, vin diesel who else did they say kim kardashian <laughs> which honestly i could see the kardashians doing a spinoff simple life like you know kim and court yeah. take crappy lake you know yeah. um honestly like i could see that happening but no and then the best is when they walk out everyone's cheering right but everyone's like, cheering with their signs because this is the biggest thing to happen in like three months they're like oh my god we gotta go see these celebrities it's <gasps> honestly like people were tailgating this event they rolled out the red carpet Yes, they did. They literally tried out red carpet. Red, the red carpets had an, an audition where they were like, no, that one's too dark, too bright, just right. You know, like too thin, make it a thicker carpet. It's two people. They've so got funny. The time for this. Yeah. They're rolling out the red carpets. And then half the interviews were like, who, who, who are they? What's her name? Leanne? What was it? Um, Come again? What? These ladies are going to have a tough time here. 
Sanja. I never seen such a name. <laughs> oh my God. I also, we, we get a little sense of them. They, you know, they give a little background of each other and they both say they're performers because they are right. Both of them have done cabaret yeah. performances and tour around mm-hmm. the country. Mm-hmm. God love that the Real Housewives of New York launched two cabaret acts, right? I mean, yeah, I would definitely say Luann has more, I was like a real deal cabaret show because she's singing and she comes out in all the, all the, sh- all the oh, outfits. Yeah. And then Sonia, she really considers herself a comedian. She's like, I'm a comedian. I'm an entertainer. I do all these things. Yeah. She a does a little time. more stand up. She's a little yeah. more versatile. Yeah. Whereas Luann is like, the minute you walked in the joint, I could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. <laughs> We have to go see her show in New York. Good looking. Yeah, because we're going to become friends with them once we start doing yeah. their impression. They're going to invite They're us. They're going to love the it. Show. They're going to love it. Michelle Collins opens for Luann. She she used to open for Luann sometimes. She would like do her show. Oh my God. Um, So funny. Okay, so. Amazing. Oh, and you forgot one thing. When, when Sonia was talking about the liposuction, she literally like bends down to pack her bag and goes, oops, I popped the stitch. My oh, so, so you're with the liposuction she's so about it she's like i'm leaking i'm popping stitches <laughs> i don't know what's gonna happen it's almost as if like everyone gets lipo and we all know what that's like and we're like oh my like if you said i popped a stitch i'm not okay. i'd be like what that sounds <laughs> so painful uh, do we sew it back up like how, right how do we do? like shouldn't we go get that checked out uh what's <laughs> happening she's just like oh, oh another another stitch popped moving on so funny Okay, so they get to the town, right? And uh, and they have this whole big welcome. And welcome then they go party. To the to the they're staying at a motel. Is that what a you call motel, it? Motel, Motel Benton. <laughs> motel Benton. Is this this sounds like the prestige? It's the name of the town. So it's gotta be like the number one motel in, in the town. It's it's family run, husband and wife are there. Yeah. And it My- straight up hasn't been redecorated from 1970. Like it's, it's like the, the dark wood walls the dark and like the walls, like a the dark shams. carpet. Yeah. Oh. It's the beds like have those, that, that like, mm, that you know, when you get to a pattern. hotel, yeah. When you get to a hotel or an old motel and like, it's like a quilt that you're like, oh, this isn't what you sleep under. You, this is just the cover you take off yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared of it though. I would not want to sleep there. No, no. I almost thought they were going to get like an Airbnb and they'd stay in like a cute little house. Yeah. That's what, how are they going to survive with no kitchen? Like, what are they doing? <laughs> so they're, they're having all these boxes shipped to the, Luann shipped like a million boxes to her little yeah. room. I'm like, Luann. guys, you're not living in a full house. This is a tiny little motel room. Like, what do you, meanwhile, like the room is filled with their, with their stuff that they've bought. It's also funny. They have separate rooms. I get it. They're grown women. They should yeah. have separate rooms, but I also feel like for the show and the content, it might have been funnier to be like, ooh, we only had one room available. I guess you're going to have to be roommates for this thing. Maybe Missed that was like in their contract. They were like, whatever we do, we are not <laughs> sharing a room. Well, Luann's doing workouts at 8 a.m. Sonia's sleeping till 11. So we can clearly see they could never coexist <gasps> in the same room. Also, Sonia is fully like into the like energy of her room. She's like decorating. She's like the feng shui of it all. Like it. And- <laughs> You know, I think Luann is like, does this area fit a yoga mat? And Sonia's like, I need candles. Like, it's such a different vibe, the rooms. Such a different vibe. I did notice Luann bought her own bed sheets. She like bought like Target bed sheets and she mm. fully made a new bed. Sonia's just sleeping with whatever and her like stuff. She's like, I like controlled chaos. I call my stuff controlled chaos. I got stuff over here. I got stuff over there. And I'm just doing my thing. And I love it. I have to be honest. I love it. It's so funny. And also, I will just say, by the end of these episodes, uh, you know, they cut back and forth to the motel a lot. Mm -hmm. Sonia's room looks like a fucking tornado hit. (laughs) (laughs) It's like straight up. It's chaos in there, like you said. But it's like, it's funny, right? It was just like a mess. She's charging her vibrators. It's just chilling on the bed. And Um, the motel owner finds it an absolute shambles. So they talk to the mayor of the town and they get their objectives yes there is an objective to the show it's not just put two rich women in <laughs> <Yeah>. poor town <laughs> which is kind of what they marketed the show to be i didn't realize there was going to be a whole you know journey an adventure yeah, um a list tell them they what have. they got tell them what the mayor told them they're going to do the, everything seems pretty vague but they are given a list <laughs> so they they definitely need to like spruce up so they want to like kind of bring some 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 attractions. So they want to do a show. They want to put on yeah. some type of show for the town. 
So and they land, they love that. Yeah. Cause they land on, well, what do we do? We do cabarets. We do yeah. Sonia does stand up. So they want to do a variety show, like an yeah. old school variety show, like a follies show. I love and then they're coming they, up with the names like well we love cabaret oh finally we can do finally let's do bent follies yeah i love how it was like a whole name thing and it was literally yeah. like benton motel benton follies <laughs> it took two seconds it took two oh, no. seconds like it could have been a little catch you know like like sonia and luann's like magical variety hour or whatever but <laughs> yeah just the benton follies and but it's so funny so then they, I forget what's next. In the in the first episode, they they do the fishing thing though. So they they have this yeah. objective. So they decide they're going to host auditions, and but the auditions don't happen until episode two. Yeah, um, you're right. They don't, and it was it was a dismal turnout for the auditions. <laughs> the auditions. I mean, we loved. But there was talent, but the way that they, it was interesting. They had a Did, horror ventriloquist slash dancer. Oh, lo- yeah, I loved that one. It was an interpretive dancer to dressed as the the murder, the saw uh killer in, from the saw movies. It was, it was Jigsaw. Niche. Jigsaw was for a niche audience. Very niche. Yeah. I loved the little kid on the unicycle. That was a great act. That, I that was fantastic. And they appreciated that one too. They were like, oh, he must you're, go in the show. You're a shoe in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. They had a harpist. Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they have a Very harpist. Nice. A lot of talent coming out of Benton, I got to say. This was a really good showcase, Surprised. you know, right? I, I thought it wasn't bad. No one got up, though, and, like, sang, right? No one really, like... There was one singer, I believe. It was a this oh. really sweet young girl, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, and there was a guy with a guitar, I think. There was a oh. guy, like... Yes, yes. You know, and your go-to guitarist of the town. Yeah. <laughs> he you plays at the to. pizza on every friday night under the lights um <laughs> yeah what did they think about the um they weren't impressed with the theater director they really wanted no. him to be a flamboyant fun i mean amazing <laughs> theater director and they walk in they're like who is this guy the That's... first thing luann says is well he's married yeah the, the best is they're like they're like he's gonna be gay right because yeah. why would he do theater and not be gay and they were like and he's gonna be fabulous and we're gonna we're gonna become like best friends they're like setting we up love our gays theater director and yeah. Then, yeah they walk in and and he's like married to a woman <laughs> i believe they never confirm if he's married to a woman or not did they no Luann's just like well he's married so anyway that's a loss <laughs> yeah they were like we had higher hopes we had higher hopes <laughs> for this guy uh, yeah. you know how how good at theater could he be? I mean, he's not theatrical. Um, it was very interesting, the the whole theater of it all, because that's what this whole show is going to be, right? We're going to put on a talent show. They're putting the on town. talent shows. And then they're just bringing tourism to the town. They're trying to like spruce it up. So I guess they're just getting, they're probably going to have a parade. I feel oh. like they're, but I'm forgetting like the mission of it. I'm like, I glazed over that mission because I was just, I loved when they were just riding around the mayor's office with that little cart. Yeah, I think they glazed over the mission too. They were like, they found some little like, Fair. like scooter, and they yeah, were like, the ride. Let's ride around the office on the scooter. Like, what are we? What else should we do today? Um, but they go fishing. That was a big part of episode one. So yeah, episode one was the noodling, which I they're getting loved. immersed in the town. Don't you feel yeah. like they're they're getting immersed in the town? But yeah. they're going to also bring their you know uh, expertise and, and their star qualities to the town. Yeah. So it's a little yeah. bit of every, everybody wins. <laughs> but yes, they oh, go yeah. noodling, which is the cute, which I've never been. I've seen it, but I've never been. I, I don't think I ever would. I mean, like unless I'm paid to do it on Crappy Lake, starring Anna and Andrea, and they say ah, we're paying to be here, get in the fucking water and catch a fish. <laughs> um, I'm there. Yeah. So they go to this like the the lake i guess that smells yeah. like shit and sonia's just really that's where we kind of see their personalities uh differ, oh right oh absolutely yeah because well sonia doesn't want to do it at all and luann's like well i'll do it i don't think they really want to do it but it's like it was the objective yeah. for the day yeah and then luann gets a little too into it and catches a freaking fish with her bare hands, I'm like, damn, this woman could murder someone. <laughs> like when you saw that, I was a pretty. I sent you the, the picture of her with the with the catfish <gasps> in the air. I was like, Jesus, she's not playing around. Also, I'm like, was this real? Because it doesn't seem produced. But like, I imagine, or, or was there like a PA underwater holding the freaking fish and it just I know. hands it over to Luann and it's like, look excited. <laughs> so I ha- funny. I have to believe that. 
Well, no, I, w- I want to believe that, that Luann did it, but I'm like, there's I do like, too. I know they were there for like an hour and they only showed the part where she caught it because I feel like they were in there for a while. Sonia's over there like trying to hit on the, the fishermen. <laughs> Yeah, Sonia's ready to bang some people. Like, Wait, I'll, I'll touch your now leg. That I, now that we think about it, though, maybe it's that animal handler who had to put those animals in front of the, the plane runway, <laughs> and they were like, we do fish, too. And they were like, oh, sweet, we, we could do this. We could, hey, can you plant a catfish in our, one of our star's hands? The, the Benton <laughs> Animal Wranglers, that was, they oh. hired them to do the, all, all of these things. Yeah. I they, love it. Because there's no way. Like, Luann, she is built. She's built like a, a she's an athlete. Absolutely. Um, but she's very competitive. So we got that side of her. Um, and also, and then they talk a lot about sex. Like, I feel like oh, Bravo was like, horn dogs. Yeah. yeah, I feel like Bravo was like, we're going to do the simple life, but it's going to be you guys. And we're going to go in this town. And both of them were like, okay, so we're going to new town. There's going to be new men. Let's let's, who are we going to fuck? Okay. Sonia's definitely more into it. But Luann does say in the car, like, I haven't had sex. Like, I don't have sex or whatever. Like, we're having no sex. And I'm like, they've been yeah. here five minutes. <laughs> yeah, Sonia, Sonia confided in us that Luann can go way less time without sex. Like Luann <laughs> needs it. When she needs it, she needs, she's got needs. And <laughs> she's looking, she they're 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 down to clown in this in this town of Benton. I love it. Let me say. I mean, they were hitting on these guys, and these guys are so small town. It's so yeah, like, so they go country. to a fire, they go to the fire station. That's one they they get to meet guys in two different situations. The first one's the fire station. And you even fire texted house. me. You were like, fire these house. guys are busted. One of them, which they did the, the other firemen did know. He was like, Yeah, so the only we got one, uh, probably the, the hottest of the firemen is that guy over there. And Sonya's already talking to him. Like, uh, of course. Like she what, found it. It's very easy to to scan a room and be like, Yep, yeah, him. This is the one. <laughs> So when you walk in, where is your pole? Yeah. Oh my God. She was ready for it all. And then like Luann was like, I have muscles too. Look at my arms. You got, and then they were like saying they have all these skills. And I love how they thought, oh, we could recruit the firemen to be in our show. And all of them were like, uh, no. no. <laughs> They're the like, firemen, we don't even know who these people are. <laughs> they asked them what their skills are. They're like, um, well, what are our skills? Come on, none of you can sing. Why don't they have any skills? So funny. None of them had skills. And then it was like, they, I think they gave up on the firemen like fast. Like even the producers, oh. they were like, okay, we're, this was a bust. Like no one was hot. <laughs> we're getting nothing <laughs> no one, here. Yeah, no one wants to be in the show. Like if one of the firemen was like, actually I rap, I would have been like, oh my God. Absolutely. Give us this, give us the rap, give it, I, give it to us now. I was hoping more for the firemen. I really was. I know, I know. But all hope is not lost because in episode two, mm. they do go out. These girls go out. And let me just say, they are wearing sequins in every situation on this show. They even wore sequins to the auditions. <gasps> yeah, in they were, no, in, they were ready to go to a gala when they were holding auditions. I the love fashion. it. The fashion of it all. I love it. And you know, they didn't like that when the director was like, wow, you really dressed up for the occasion. And they were like, yeah. Sonia with her conductor hat. She was like, well, that's a big day. Come on. Like we're doing it. And, oh my God. So they yeah, show up so to they're... this bar in full sequence. Full sequence. Sonia's showing a lot of cleavage too. Like they are like, and she, and, and they meet these like guys and the one guy they like isn't even from crappy lake he's he's a tourist <laughs> he's he a went tourist on vac- visiting some vacation. friends <laughs> and uh and that's the best they're all sitting there having drinks uh i do think at the bar that was the only time that people knew who they were like there were some girls yeah. like i watched real housewives of new york so you know yeah. i think it was good for the girls like sonia and luann like it was good to run into some fans you know because yes. they've had it no one knows who they are <laughs> otherwise oh when they first got to the town that they definitely weren't Vin Diesel. So people were like, wait, what? Yeah. But they, they got some notoriety from the, from the bar. They had. Some. Absolutely. And so they meet this guy who's visiting. Right. And mm-hmm. his name is, uh, what's his name? Well, it's, his last name is Richard. <laughs> last name, Richard. Luann loved it. Cause it was a French descent and Luann's mother, of course, is French. So, so immediate Countess. connection there. Yeah. And she's like, he's French. He's French. <laughs> Sonia was like, he's French. Look, he's French, Lou. And 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 <laughs> then Sonia then at the table, like starts like pulling her dress off. Did, she's like, and they're all like, what is she doing? And she's like, I'm fixing my tits. So he gets a better view. And do you remember this part? Yeah. And then, and she like leans over her cleavage so he can like <laughs> see her. Bo- I was like, 
I was like, that's one way to flirt, right? Like Sonia's got no shame, you know? No shame. Be like, I had lipo right here, so don't touch there, but <laughs> we can still fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the bar scene was just, oh my God. It was so small town. It was just not a lot of people in there. Not a lot yeah. of happening, but they got darts. They got a couple arcade games, probably a pool table. Um, oh, the whole bar is covered in bars, paraphernalia that the bartenders have all gotten. Just yeah. like, like boxers and bras, just the, the, your typical aesthetic. So funny. Yeah, it's a divey Absolutely. place. And then Very what's diving. and then within five seconds, uh, you know, I know editing is a part of this show, but yeah. literally within seconds, Sonia convinces this guy to take his top, his shirt off. <laughs> like, like all of a sudden, two people have their two men have their shirts off because the the girl, the gals are like, well, you know, it would be better in this bar if you didn't have a t- shirt on. <laughs> Sonia getting anybody to take her ter- her top off it just it's so easy for her. She's like, I'll lose it. I'll lose it if you take your top off. Her, easy. She said that Richard was her type because he wasn't paying attention to her. And I was like, girl, <laughs> <laughs> she girl. likes the chase. <laughs> she loves she loves the chase. I was like, that's pretty much everybody. You know, you mean hard to get? Yeah, Sonia, we get it. <laughs> I love the man who doesn't show me any attention and he just acts tough and he doesn't like me. And then I love him. That's that was a really good. Said. You're getting so good at it. Okay, it's I'm good using this as practice. Yeah, we're using this to practice our voices. Yeah. And Luann is sort of like, I gotta go. I have yoga in the morning. <laughs> Sonia's straight up like Wait. in the car with me. Do the part where Luann grabs the goat the goatee. Oh, she's like, wow, this is like a real goatee. It's like I, I can like I can feel the I can feel the goat on the goatee. And he goes, bah or something. <laughs> Remember when the man starts do he's like bah and she's like wow give it to me goat I'm like what kind of foreplay is this I was out I was out I was checked out at that point I would have run away he and has a fully braided goatee like it's like braided like like down feet like he got his <laughs> hair done like he took the time whoever took the time to br- put little rubber bands on this and so uh, no it's not like so a hair wrap like, like we had it. In, in high school like remember those yes. hair wraps where you get your yes. hair like wrapped in like string and you were like oh, i'm okay. so sh- fucking cool now look at me i have a, i have like a strand of hair wrapped in, oh in, in some macrame it's- it was like that in a, in a, goatee. In a long goatee yeah and she's like follow me it. i'll take you to the dance floor i love a little goat in my goatee <laughs> um Okay, we love. So yeah, that night that. was wild. And then Sonia, you know, forces a man, forces Richard. The best is when he takes his top up and he has that tattoo. <laughs> the man goes, wait a minute, wait Richard. a minute. You're wait a minute. Richard. Wait a minute. Your back says Richard. He goes, no, it's Richard. She I- immediately is like, oh, I, my fault. <laughs> she, she's no laughing hard. so hard. No, I'm so curious. Is this man really just like lived his life thinking that his last name Richard is actually Richard? <laughs> Because and how many times do you think sir. he's going to correct people? Like everywhere, everybody's Starbucks. like, "No, sir, I'm so so sorry, but your last name is Richard. It's not Richard. I'm so so sorry that you added an unnecessary like, accent." No, I swear, I have our family in in France. You know, <laughs> those French people. They said it's Richard, and that's what I go by. Okay, I got a little culture. <laughs> <laughs> also, okay. he's from the French quarters in in <laughs> New Orleans, yeah. and like when they discover that like i think both of them are like i've performed there <laughs> like i've had a show there i love that part of town i love them like no it's not every it man is. in every man in this bar has major back tattoos too that that is i feel like benton is back tattoo benton yeah, yeah back tattoo <laughs> benton and everybody just wants it's just a main show off i was surprised so there were only two guys that show their humongous back tattoos there gonna, was, there's going to be more there's got to be more. So yeah. Sonia leaves with a guy. <laughs> She's like, I'll get in the car with you. Get in the car now. And you're like, this is that fast. Yeah. Yeah. Do we think we they did anything? Probably not. But it was a good ending I, to the first. The, the first it was a great. Episodes. Yeah, it was a good ending. I feel like they probably make out in the car, right? She, she at least kisses him because she's really yeah. pretty forceful to get like what is she going to go in the car and be like let's go to the mcdonald's drive through like no <laughs> at that point he was doing whatever she wanted i was like haven't they been drinking he's just like just a just a naked richard getting in his pickup truck driving sonia around yeah but he's like look at this new york city celebrity woman <laughs> pushing me into a car my life is about to change <laughs> i might be a richard now <laughs> he'll change for richard for her He's going to be a Richard. 
to do something about that Richard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, although Sonia could be like, Sonia Richard has a ring. I, I know. Thought was- I thought Sonia, I thought Luann was going for him, not Sonia, but then Sonia like swipes him up from under his feet. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I'll trade to that. Do you have any predictions for the rest of the season? Cause it just started. I know. I think they're going to do a great show. There's mm-hmm. going to, there's going to be some drama with the show. Like there's going to be something happens with the show because and they're then- both performers. Cause don't you feel like who's going to open, who's going to close? Are they going to do a number yeah. together? Yeah. Like they're going to be a part of the show. So, yeah. you know, it's going to get theater camp vibes. <laughs> yes, it is. There's going to be some competition. And then I think somebody is going to find, there's going to be some romance. Like one of them is going to find some love. There might be some competition there. And then they're, maybe we'll get a new place to live. Cause I think they're going to get tired of that motel. <laughs> so sad to say, <laughs> they're over motel Benton. <laughs> well, also one thing we forgot in the first episode, they, they take like a shitty ass cab to go somewhere. <laughs> and then like in the next scene, they're like, we got you a pickup truck. And they're like, oh, thank God, we could never get in a cab again. <laughs> like That was fast. They immediately just got them a car. Like, it's like, whoa. So yeah, you're right. They could be like, by the way, here's your new home. <laughs> Stay here now. <laughs> I feel like the women are going to demand that. Because they're like, we're not staying here. It's so funny. A little dry. And then I think lastly, they're just going to do a bunch of uh, Benton things. Just like they did the noodling. They're going to do some, some off-roading, some more fishing. Yeah. I mean, like whatever else they do around there. I'm excited for it. I I, I do think in this show, like if you guys watched The Simple Life, yeah. Luann is the Paris Hilton and Sonia is the Nicole Richie. Like, you know, mm-hmm. Luann, because in that show, Paris, they were both very silly and like, you know, yeah. down to clown. But I think Paris was a little more by the book and Nicole Richie was always like, <laughs> but what if we just fucking burn the book? You know, <laughs> like, wouldn't that be fun? And I think that is Sonia's vibe on this show is like, uh, she doesn't really, she's there for her reasons. And Luann mm-hmm. is sort of like playing along a little bit with the whole, like, no, we got to do this to the town. And yes. Sonia's like, but are there any hot guys? <laughs> you know, they don't, she doesn't care. That's absolute. That's <laughs> on point because yeah. Sonia doesn't really take anything too seriously in well, in Housewives she does, but I think this is their their time to just like have their friendship and they're perfectly balanced on the show. So it's gonna, it's gonna work out. But I've missed, I've missed, cause I was, I watched Housewives and they were like one of my, couple of my favorites. So if you've been missing Housewives and like the old school OGs, this is great for you. Cause it's just an extension of Housewives, just not in New York. Got it. Just in Benton, Illinois. Just in Benton, Illinois. Will you ever visit Benton? I think we should go after we recap this entire show. <laughs> I think we take a little like celebratory trip for a weekend and yeah, you know, or maybe we'll just meet them. Maybe yeah. I have dreams for us. You know, if we're committing to this show, something good's going to come of it. It's going to happen. Something's good's going to come of it. I know. I'm almost like, I was asking you if we should start our own Instagram so we can recap. And I'm like, wait, we have, we have way too much to, to monitor right Instagram. now. <laughs> it's, it's too much. We just can't. How far is Benton from Chicago? <laughs> She's going, she's like, I'm going to a wedding next week. I'm going to just stop by Ben, <laughs> get, get my noodling on and then, you know, have a good one. That's so okay. funny. It's, it's way, it's way South. It's four and a half hours South. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's it's kind of, it's, it's all on the border of Kentucky. So that's why it feels kind of, kind of country. It. it definitely feels country. Um, well, I can't wait for the next episode. When does it air? Sundays? When did this last episode come out? Let's see. I think it was Sunday. And honestly, God bless. More people should put shows on Sundays because Sundays already suck. So thank you, Bravo, for giving us a Sunday. Oh, no, wait. Sunday's Real Housewives. I'm like lying. (laughs) Sunday is the Housewives of New York. Is this also on Sunday? I can't remember. Yeah, let me go to my Peacock app because when is the next? The next episode of Crappy Lake will air... Dun, da, 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 da. Premier July 9th, which is a Monday, right? No, oh, it's a Sunday. M- Sunday. That I wasn't wrong. It's gonna um, be, right? Well, I can't wait. This was so fun. I can't wait to take notes on the next one. I can't for you, wait for you guys to see us put out some of this silly content. <laughs> it's I know. too fun. But well, I, I know we were so gonna recap, fun. but then I know it's the best. It's always fun to like write the notes and then do our top, top moments. But we recapped the whole damn thing. So we're good. Billy, Billy Richard. That was his name. Billy. Billy Richard. Yeah. I simply. I can't wait to see where that man's journey ends up. You know, will he make the next episode morning after with Sonia? We will see. 
I did see him. I did see him in the next, in like the teaser for the next episode. Oh. So like Billy's like hanging around. He's here to stay. He's like, I don't need to go back to New Orleans. I could just stay here. <laughs> just, I could just stay right here. I don't need it. to go anywhere. This is insane. So um, fun. Well, thank you yeah, guys for yeah. uh, for hanging out with us for a little recap of a new show. This was so fun. Uh, please waste your lives with us and, and you know, <laughs> and enjoy it. Have fun with it so you can follow along next time. And DM us on Big Wigs Podcast Instagram if you watched the show. I want to hear people's thoughts. If anyone Yeah, watched. me too. We, oh my God. Just send us pic- screenshots of the pictures because I've been taking pic- pictures of the of when I'm watching it. And like, it's just, there's just so many good screen grabs. So many. Right. We'll post some. I'm going to take a picture of us right now. Smile. Amaze. Until next week, guys, catch up, watch the show. Let's talk about it.